Tired of pouring water into lifeless ground only to see your plants struggle yellow and fade away? The truth is, the answer to rich productive soil isn't sitting on a store shelf in plastic bags of fertilizer. It's right under your feet, waiting to be awakened. The secret is not in chemicals, but in restoring life back into the soil. And the best part? You can do it at zero cost, with no chemicals at all, and watch your plants reward you with strength, color, and abundant harvests within days. At Timeless Crops Haven, we believe every gardener deserves healthy soil without draining their wallet or compromising nature. This guide will show you powerful natural techniques to transform dead, compacted dirt into a living, microbe-rich ecosystem that keeps giving back season after season. Soil is more than dust and minerals. It is a bustling underground city filled with microbes like bacteria, fungi and earth-friendly organisms that feed plants, protect them from disease and keep the soil structure loose and fertile. When these tiny workers vanish due to chemical fertilizers, sun exposure or compaction, the soil turns grey and lifeless. Water drains too quickly, nutrients disappear, and no matter how much effort you put in, the plants barely respond. Reviving soil is about restoring microbial life. Once microbes return, they rebuild the soil structure, release nutrients in plant-friendly forms, and form invisible partnerships with roots. The result is soil that works for you rather than against you. Few methods are as effective at reviving soil as biochar, often called, you know, black gold. Unlike ordinary charcoal, biochar is charged with nutrients and living microbes, transforming it into a long-lasting soil booster. Think of it as a sponge that soaks up nutrients and water, then slowly shares them with your plants for years to come. Making biochar at home is, honestly, quite simple. Start with plain, untreated charcoal. Make sure to avoid anything that has chemicals or lighter fluid. Crush it into small pieces or even into powder, because, well, the finer it is, the more surface area it has for microbes to colonize. Instead of adding this dry charcoal directly to your soil, give it life first. Place the crushed charcoal into a bucket, add chopped weeds, a couple of handfuls of healthy soil from an active garden or under a tree, and enough clean water to submerge everything. Cover it loosely and let it sit for about a week. During this time, the weeds release nutrients and the microbes multiply inside the charcoal pores. After seven days, what you hold is no longer simple charcoal, it is biochar, a living amendment that will boost your soil for years to come. There are two powerful ways to put biochar to work. The first is to mix it into your soil as a long-lasting booster. Before applying, always water your garden bed until the soil is damp. This is important because dry soil can draw moisture out of the biochar, leaving microbes struggling. Once the ground is moist, sprinkle the biochar across the surface and gently mix it into the top three to four inches. There is no need to dig deep. Over time, this biochar will improve water retention, prevent nutrients from leaching away, and provide a safe home where microbes thrive year after year. The second way is to use what gardeners call biochar tea, the liquid left in your bucket after charging the charcoal. Dilute it with water before applying. The exact formula is one cup of biochar liquid mixed with ten cups of clean water. Pour this gentle brew around the base of your plants every two weeks. Unlike harsh fertilizers, biochar tea doesn't shock plants. Instead, it strengthens their roots, introduces beneficial microbes, and encourages steady, resilient growth. Another zero-cost method to rebuild soil life is creating layered beds using cardboard and organic materials often known as Hugelkulter style beds. This technique not only restores fertility, but also manages moisture naturally. Begin by clearing the area where you want to build. Lay down overlapping sheets of cardboard to block weeds. On top of the cardboard, place twigs, small branches, or even logs. 
These woody layers will slowly decompose while acting like a sponge deep in the soil, storing water and releasing it gradually. Next, scatter your kitchen scraps, vegetable peels, coffee grounds and crushed eggshells over the wood. Cover this with soil. Don't worry if your soil is poor. Mix in a few shovels of healthier soil from another spot, even a small scoop from beneath trees where microbes are already thriving. Finish with a thick layer of compost or aged manure. Let the bed rest for a few weeks. During this time, the cardboard softens, microbes multiply, and the buried materials begin their transformation. By planting season, the bed has turned into a soft, rich environment full of microbial activity, ensuring your plants take off with vigour. Ah, most gardeners see weeds as constant enemies, but in reality, they can be powerful allies. You see, deep-rooted weeds like dandelions pull calcium and iron from deep underground. Clover naturally adds nitrogen, one of the most important nutrients for leafy growth. Nettles, though prickly, are packed with nitrogen and potassium. Instead of discarding weeds, recycle them into your garden, chop them up, return them to the soil as a quick mulch, mix them into your compost, or add them to your biochar bucket for extra nutrients. Within days, the chopped weeds begin to decompose, releasing the minerals they captured straight back into your soil. What once was a nuisance becomes free fertilizer grown by nature. Watering can be one of the most exhausting parts of gardening, especially in those hot summers. Fortunately, with the right soil building techniques, you can cut watering chores significantly. Biochar helps hold water, while cardboard-based Hugel Kulter beds trap moisture deep below the surface. To make it even better, cover your soil with mulch. A layer of dry leaves, straw or grass clippings shields the soil from direct sunlight, reducing evaporation and keeping the temperature steady. This creates the cool, moist conditions where microbes thrive. As mulch breaks down, it adds fresh organic matter, feeding the soil continuously. Best of all, mulch is free. You're simply recycling what nature already provides. With a mulch cover, your soil stays moist, your plants healthier, and you save yourself hours of labour. The invisible communities under your feet are the reason these methods work so well. Microbes form vast networks, breaking down organic matter, gluing soil particles into crumbly loam and extending plant roots through fungal threads called mycorrhiza. These threads act like underground internet cables, delivering water and nutrients far beyond the reach of roots. In return, plants share sugars with the fungi, creating a perfect exchange system. The beauty is that you don't need to purchase expensive microbial products. By adding biochar, compost, mulch, weeds and natural scraps, you create the perfect conditions for microbes to repopulate. Once they're back, they do the heavy lifting for you, building soil that supports life season after season. As exciting as these methods are, patience is your ally. When you build a cardboard bed or layer branches and scraps, resist the urge to plant immediately. Give the soil six to eight weeks to come alive. During this period, materials begin breaking down, microbes multiply, and the bed transforms into fertile ground. Starting the process in fall or winter is especially rewarding because by spring, your soil is mature and ready for plants to thrive. Chemical fertilizers, well, they might offer quick results, but they really do damage the soil over time. They strip life from the ground, making it drier and more dependent on repeated feeding. This sort of cycle, you know, forces gardeners to spend more money each season for smaller returns. By contrast, natural zero-cost methods build soil that improves itself year after year. They save you money, reduce waste, and create healthier plants without chemicals. More importantly, they reconnect you with the cycles of nature, reminding us that every scrap, leaf or weed can serve a purpose. Healthy soil is the heart of every thriving garden, and you don't need to spend a dime to restore it. With biochar, cardboard beds, mulch and even weeds, you can turn lifeless dirt into a living, microbe-rich ecosystem that keeps giving back. 
Your plants will stand taller, grow greener and reward you with harvests full of flavour and vitality. Here at Timeless Crops Haven, we believe gardening should be joyful, simple and sustainable. If you found these tips valuable, don't keep them to yourself. Subscribe to our channel, share this guide with a fellow gardener and let's keep building gardens that flourish naturally season after season.